it's midday. So I doubt we'll really see anything, but you never know with a moving like this. But there's still a lot of leaves up, even though it's probably 50% of falling. There's still a lot of leaves that are up, and it's really you can't see as good as you could. And also, like not here, they've mowed this. Okay, so they've ground me, you know, the leaves up. But uh, on the other trails I ride, is specifically one over here, the other day, the leaves were real big and full. They're hardwood leaves, you know, not small little wood leaves. And uh, they fluff up. And it was so, the trail, you almost couldn't see the trail. And the leaves are so fluffy, it's very hard to pick out a line to drive. It's a ride, a line, you know, in between the boulders and the roots and that type of thing. And I thought about going back to that one, but I'm going to let it, hopefully, the leaves are crushed down, break up when people start walking on them. And uh, you'll be able to see, like, here is fine. This, this, this is nothing. But the other day, there goes a squirrel, Steve. Like, like this right here, that's how it was, pretty much the whole way. And this is a gravel trail. The other ones, they had rocks in there that high. And, roots like crazy so it's a very bumpy ride okay i'm gonna cross a little hard surface road here this gate may be closed down up here if it is Just gotta turn around no deer so far uh some birds, some squirrels, and that's all I've seen so far. Before they put this gate up down here, I could do a circuit. It was almost like 4.8 miles. It was perfect uh, to get my ride in, but they put up this gate. And uh, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. If it's open, you obviously can ride through it. If it's closed, I just turn around and head back the other way. Let's see what it is. That's just closed today. Uh, it is uh, open today, so we're gonna we're gonna run through here. See, they take, they take care of this grass. I believe it's the park authority comes in here, this trail. They do a really good job of maintaining it. Uh, the park authority does a bang up job on pretty much all the trails that they have. Uh, bicycle or if you even walk it, really good. Crows are calling. I don't know if you can hear them. Hang right, right here, and go on the lower side of the lake. And like I said before, they got all kind of like uh, trees planted around here. Uh, trees that you normally that are native to Virginia, but you don't see too much. Like persimmon trees, and they got some walnut trees in here, and. a whole bunch of different stuff like those there i think they're persimmon trees don't hold me to that or maybe those are the persimmons they got them all through here and i don't know if that was a park that did this or the people that lived here i guess they uh, had their little homestead here back in the day because up here on the hill there's a gray site and the newest stone says like 1830 or 1865 so there have been a lot of people living here so here's the lake oh another type of tree I know that they have here is a pawpaw tree and you don't see too many of those around 
uh, and they bear fruit that ripens, you can eat it. The same with the persimmon. You can eat those. Here's a squirrel right up there in the tree, not moving, thanks so we don't see them. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of, you know, stuff in here. And this is, like I said, really convenient to the house. Fairly close. Very nice. I'm going to climb up uh, this hill right here. They got some type of kid day in here. And if I see any kids, I'm going to head the other way. There's some animals. They're showing them animals there, like those uh, deer antlers and fur. So they're having some type of science day here. But this is a nice hill right here. And like I said, numerous times. And GoPro doesn't show how steep it is. But it climbs it and then drives. Really no problem. Alright, so we're up to three or four squirrels so far. A couple birds. And I haven't really seen any off this ravine this year. I've seen them before. They're down there. A lot of times right down those deadfalls, if you can see them, they get by those deadfalls and they're hard to see. They don't move until you almost jump them up. But I've seen them before where their heads are glint in the sunlight. And that's how you see them. Deer are really hard to see if they, they don't move or their profile is broken up. All right. Yeah, uh, like I said, it got cold like two or three nights. Pretty, you know, below freezing. And now it's kind of heating back up. I'm out here today in a short sleeve shirt with a hat on, toboggan on, and long sleeve oh, blue jeans, and some Costco boots. And I'm wearing a uh, back support and a uh, back brace. And it's not too cold, it's a little nippy, but. A little chilly, not too bad at all. Now here, I normally see deer. And uh, coming up with a big nothing day. It is midday though. If I were to come here in the evening, I'm sure we'd see something. As a matter of fact, if I'm up to it tonight, I might come back here in the evening and ride. All right, just checked the mileage. I'm gone over, a little over two and a half miles. That gate was open and I was able to go through it. So I'm about halfway around the circuit here. Beautiful day. Wish it was just uh, every time I ride, I'm like, I wish it was a little hotter. I wish it was a cool, little cooler. I'd like it to be a little cooler. Just a little cooler. Man, that's, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. But that's a good looking woods. It's pretty. Very nice. And this is a gravel, full of gravel trail right here. And uh, when we turn left right here, it switches into all dirt.
making really good time today. We were way up on that hill, the road back there over that ridge line. Oh, you can't see. Over that ridge line up there and uh, circled this whole thing. We're not nearly done with it yet. It's got about almost four miles. So, yeah, you know. I ever get an Insta360, put it up on one of the extension poles. This would be nice to film. You'd have see the drop off to the left here, and then the break to the right. Okay. Okay, riding this one a little different. Now the pond is off. I keep saying pond, but that is the rock quarry that's filled in. Right there. That is an old persimmon tree. You see all those things? When they fall, the deer will come out here and they'll eat these things up. They love them. It's like deer candy. Raccoons, deer candies. You'll see the raccoons scat. They'll have those little seeds in there. A lot of times it's these things, the persimmon trees. Uh, Raccoons love this stuff too. Possum will eat it. Pretty much everything likes a persimmon tree. But see, they're already they're getting ripe and they're they're gonna fall off here. There's another one. I have to remember where they're at. And it's real sweet when they're ripe. It's a sweet fruit. Uh, but if it's not ripe, they're they're really bitter. There's all the trees here. They've lost pretty much all their leaves. The ones that over the videos I point them out, I go, look, that's gonna be neat. They've really shed all their leaves. Hmm. I'd like to catch a pawpaw tree around here. See where it's at with a couple pawpaws on it, but. I know they're here. I've seen them before. I just can't remember where. This is a pretty big little place. A little over four miles. But I'm probably going to put one or two more on it. I head for the barn and get back to work. So far today, it's been pretty productive. I haven't seen that monster deer in here that the old neighbor got a picture of. I'm sure the only reason he got a picture of it, it was following the doe. And like I said, rut starting because Big 10 points like that. I mean, it's not a monster monster, but he's a nice deer. But uh, deer, when they get that size, they're not, they're not stupid. And uh, they, uh, you know, they're smart. They don't come out where people, because people still hunt around here. They don't come out where bowmen can shoot them or guys with guns can get them for the most part. To live that long, they really, you know, they've learned how to survive. Even though <clears throat> this part right here, you're not supposed to hunt. They probably have people sneak in here and hunt anyways. But, you know, the deer doesn't know. <laughs> it doesn't know where the boundaries are. He'll, he'll chase a doe or if he's hungry, he'll go over to the other place. And, you know, 
Might be a hunter over there. Man, what a nice day. I have noticed that the birds, they might be migrating already. Yeah. I'm still seeing them, but not like I was earlier in the fall. And we've ridden down this section today. Okay, stop right here. 